The Legacy of Hope. A Great Venture by Bonaventure. I'm fine, I don't need a doctor, because I am not that broken or sick, nor do I need a lawyer, for my will, because my will, and life is in the Lord. I'm on my knees now, so I can praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord, what? That's nonsense. He let all this happen to you, and you are on your knees praising him. Curse God and die. Be a man, be like Adam, don't accept a fault. If you can blame Eve or someone else, just leave your blame at the doorsteps of God. He wants work to do, so that should keep him busy. Arise, godly faithful, rejoice and renew. Beloved in Christ, in this Lenten season, we would like to put ourselves into the mercy of God and ask him for his forgiveness. And to follow Jesus in that manner, we look at the virtue of meekness. It is said that meekness is weakness. But I want to encourage you that every meekness is a virtue from God. Because Jesus says in Matthew chapter 11 verse 29 that I am meek and humble of heart. And that is what we are all called upon to do. Meekness is humility. Meekness is gentleness. And it is part of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We are all called to practice this virtue of meekness. And whenever we are meek, it is not a weakness, but a virtue of following the Lord. Some people say that when someone strikes you, you should also retaliate. That is not meekness. Meekness encourages us to forgive, and it brings understanding, love, and unity. According to St. Thomas Aquinas, meekness restrains us from excessive anger. Weakness also directs our paths so that we must walk the way of Christ Jesus. To be meek is to be like Jesus. In this season of Lent, let us pray for the virtue of meekness so that the Lord himself may bless us with the grace of the season. God bless you all. <laughs>